hope. I slept around. Just because you've got permission from the prison board to keep these things does not mean you can get this cell filthy. Do you have permission to put these up? Get rid of them. <laughs> no privileges for a week, including tobacco. I hear your mum missed out on legal aid. I haven't given up. Good, because I've been asking around about how to help her. I kind of blame myself a bit. This is the answer, mate. The Public Service Credit Union? Take out a loan. It'll pay for her lawyer. And I know a few who could get her out in no time. Of course, she'll have to give back Mandalay. Only permanent staff can get loans. Here. My employment appraisal. Read the last line. Go on. And I request McHugh's permanent appointment to this job. We'd be a great team, you and me. Santa and his little helper. Just sign the bottom to show you agree. You'll get the credit union loan and your mum will get the bail by Monday. Gee, Sarge. I... Nobody loves you like a mother, Harve. You remember that. I do, Sarge. I... Yeah, <laughs> me too. I reckon mine's going to win this lot for Christmas. You mean you're still going to rig them after what my mum went through? I don't think I can go on working here, Sarge. On account of ethics. I hate it when you talk like that. Like the bloody police force chaplain. Ethics are like traffic lights. If there's no one around, you don't have to obey them. I won't be in for dinner. I've got a date. Have you seen Mum's Willow Patton dinner set? Don't worry, it's being looked after. By who? The pawnbroker. You hocked Mum's china. I needed the cash for this date tonight. But the Willow's Mum's favourite. It was Granddad's wedding present. It's just a couple of plates with some swallows on them. Mum won't even know they're missing. Oh, bad luck, Granddad. That's five bucks you owe me. Oh, by the way. I borrowed some condoms, you little perv. Frank. And if Gina rings up, say I'm out with a goddess. Ten varicose veins ripped out of each leg, like childbirth through the knees. Oh, Dr. Mancuso sends his regards. He said you did his washing once. I've been doing it for years, those jockettes. Did you ever see the like? Well, don't you know? He asked me to take over. Well, you can't expect him to wear dirty drawers just because you've been jailed for tax evasion. I heard the bill, Martha. Nonsense. There's lots of time. Hey, my cousin Sean's in Dartmoor. He didn't commit a real crime, though. Just blew up a pub for the IRA. It's not like cheating the government. Ah, look at him. He's a saint. Smiling like that with you locked up in here for dishonesty and his real wife haunting him like a demon. He saw Bonnie? Yesterday. They went out to a restaurant. And not the Catholic club, either. French, I believe. I've never cared for it myself. One good burp and you're empty. But don't you worry. He'll have a proper meal tonight. I'm making a bake. Hey, your Francis loves my bakes. Your bakes? What didn't they tell you? I cook for them now. Father Haley asked me. Three grown men without a woman. You can't call that healthy. And that Bernard. He's such a dear. You cook him a chip, he's your friend for life. I'll kill you. You hear me? I'll bring you I'll be out and see you again next week, love. Wild horses wouldn't keep me away. Is it the filling in your... No. The flowers? Uh, no, we're too close. <sighs> I don't know, I give up what? The freckle. F for freckle. That one right there. 
Now it's your turn, darling. You spy with your little eye. Funny how you picked that. What? <laughs> what? Nothing. It's just that Brian used to like that freckle too. And now I feel deja vu. Let's not play anymore. Listen, red was Gina's favourite colour. But do I look at you and burst into tears? It's just coincidence. It's not the Twilight Zone. Don't do that, Frank. Don't put me down. Brian was always putting me down. Right up until the day he left me for her. I was just making conversation. Why are women so darn sensitive? Because thanks to you men, we have no self-esteem. I mean, did you once, just once, tell Jenny you liked red? I hate red. Oh, thanks. Ever since she walked out, it turns my stomach. Well, maybe she got sick of living her life as your doormat. Let me guess, instead of talking to her, you'd watch Wide World of Sport. The loved and the lonely. <sighs> down at the pub with your mates while she wiped up. Well, who was the one who yawned during lovemaking? Ridiculed her waistline. Then bled him dry for maintenance claims. <gasps> I've only just begun. Well, I hope he marries that dame he ran off with and they have ten blonde kids and they win lotto. Twice! Women. Doing hard time now. That's what we call it when they stop missing you. Oh, have another read of Harvey's letter. Oh, that's right, Seymour. Eat your pass, Balaam. Got to get out before Martha steals him. I mean, escape. And how would you jump over 30 metre walls? Oh, come on, Mon. My budgies couldn't fly that high. I'll find a way. I'll do what Catherine did, remember? On The Loved and the Lonely? That's only television. They must have got the idea from somewhere. Somebody must have tried it. And if it can work for Catherine, it can work for me. It can, I know it can. Oh. So the bank clerk says, look, I told you, the manager's not available. He collapsed and died last night. And the farmer says, yeah, I know, I just like to hear you say it. <laughs> Boss is watching. I'm going to take a look. You going yet? Nah. Struth, what are you? Okay. What's she doing there? Monica. Escape! Escape! Go to the tower! Yeah, come. Prisoner on the run. Give yourself up, Monica. Do it for the boy's sake. Do you want them growing up without a mother looking after them? I brought some soup for everyone. Don't you move a muscle, love. We'll be with you very soon. The boys are just getting a ladder. Listen, Harve, the SWAT team is getting twitchy. Because of all the cutbacks, well, they don't get overtime now. And it's after five. If you don't bring her down, they will. Again. Sweetheart, God doesn't like to break up married couples. I mean, this annulment's going to cost about 200 grand. More if I go for non-consummation. I'm sorry, love. Really, I am. Mum! Wait! Monica, don't do it. He loves you. He wants to marry you. He told me so himself. He'll cash in his super. That'll pay for the annulment. He'll get the best canon lawyers money can buy. Wait a minute. It's quarter past five, mate. The boys don't like it. Yeah, but... 
Monica, sweetheart, what the sergeant meant was that well, 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 when you get out and everything, we could easily sit down and, and, and see if we can talk about... I can't hear you. Monica, will you marry him? All right, Bernard. All right, I will. <laughs> Nice photo, huh? We should get a copy. You won't be sorry, mate. Mum's the best little cook in Mafeking. Oh, I was counting on my super. Gonna buy a cottage. Little fibro place near an RSL. And just don't call it Mandalay. I can't believe she actually cried. She never cries in public. Guess she's getting old. I can't afford to join a bowling club now. Or stay in the health fund. First heart attack. I'm a goner. They don't resuscitate you in public wards. Party time. Look. Real. Not every day a girl gets engaged, especially in here. How long will I get when I go to court? Well, don't think about it, love. I need to know, please. Well, it depends. You'll probably get Judge Taylor. What star sign are you? Virgo. Now, he's a Taurus. They're compatible with Virgos. I reckon he'll give you about five years. Five years? I'm a Leo and I got a cancer. He could hardly wait to give me life. I'll be 50. Now, one day at a time, love. Your brew's getting cold. Heart will be married and Dad will have died. I'll have no one to make chocolate crackles for. You'll have Bernard. He's kept his shape, too. Shoulders almost as wide as his waist. I like that in a man. By now, I'd be sorry he asked me. No. Men don't wait. It's not in their natures. The urge comes on them and off they go like cats before you spay them. I'll be left on my own and no one will miss me. All because of this. I always wanted a Nebel kitchen with double sink and marble splashbacks. It's lovely. On the first day of Christmas, the service gave to me a job with fun and sea. On the second day of Christmas, the service gave to me a great and free promotion and a job with fun and sea. What? Well, don't worry, Mum. I'll write to the minister and ask for early release. It'll be all right. I promise. Half, oh, you're the best son a mother ever had. <clears throat> Just sign the bottle. I'll show you agree. Mm. Just sign the bottle. Mm. Just sign the bottle. Mm -hmm. Since I've had my new bag, almost makes you scared to sleep. Nonsense. The odd nightmare can be good for you. Really? It's your subconscious breaking wind. Weight's down a bit. Mum's away. In jail. I've written to the minister to ask for early release, but I haven't heard anything back yet. He's got other things on his mind, my boy. 
Just a vitamin shot. Oh. Do you good. You haven't taken blood. No need today. How's the art union job? Oh, they've offered me permanency. In the service? A permanent position. As scarce as hen's teeth. You should be very happy. Yeah. Yeah, I am. On the fourth day of Christmas, the service gave to me a credit union key card, medical assessment, grade two, three promotion, and a job with permanency. On the fifth day of Christmas, the service gave to me. At this rate, McHugh will be dead in a month. Don't exaggerate, Victor. It disturbs me. Look at his charts. I couldn't even take blood. Do your job and cure him. Release his mother now. Impossible. This art union job's a mistake. If you force him to take it to pay for a lawyer, the trauma will kill him. Started already. Perhaps he just can't be corrupted. How little you know the Catholic mind. They always resist more than anyone else. And make up by sinking lower. I'm begging you, Minister. Drop the charges. Override the police. Without McHugh, we have no project. Is it worth the risk? Why does everything... Everything always have to stop up? There you go, fella. Time to go, Toy Toy. So, dude, you've got to tell me what to do. I know it's wrong to take the job, but I can't leave Mum in jail. Won't you give me a sign? Uh, Hurry up, Misty. Please, St. Jude, help me. At least he's peeing outside. That's a change. Truth. Aren't you going to say you're glad to see me? Hurry! Chocolate crackles. And I wanted to come home. This time I'll shoot you. I thought you'd be happy. I'm not there. We can, we can hide you in the garage. Come oh, on. Oh, It's all right. They filed away the charge and they said not to worry, so I'm out. <laughs> oh, look at you. Your skin and bone. And I bet you're not wearing your thermals. I'm gone one week and the place falls apart. You're really here. I'll stop for a drink. I was scared to come home, my own gate, and I couldn't walk through it. I'll go and tell Frank. No. I want to sit down in my chair for a bit. Oh, turn on the heater, would you love? It's freezing out. Sure. Here, I saved them for you for the day you came home. Homing pigeons. My cellmates. I'm going to use them to fly some relodon to her. Oh, that's more like it. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, about Mandalay. I wanted to leave you boys something. You're going to take it hard when I'm gone, I reckon. Frank won't, but you will. And I wanted to soften the blow. You won't die. You're only young. I I'll go and make your bed. Oh, stay with me for a bit. I'm not used to being alone. Kids next door will call me a con. I call you Mrs. McHugh, like always. This is nice. Oh, this is nice. Thanks, St. Jude. I owe you one. Imagine waking up to this. McHugh, what finished with your phone? Stealing's wrong. You taught me that 15 years ago on TV. See you around, Sarge. You're an ingrate, McHugh. You don't deserve a bloody job. You set foot in here again and I'll tear you limb from limb. Or my name's not Sergeant Safety. On the same day of Christmas, the sun is there to me. Redundancy. No superannuation. No credit union key card. No medical assessment. No grade two, three promotion. And it's no job 
The Damnation of Harvey McHugh continues tomorrow. Tonight, join historian David Starkey for the fascinating story of the English Revolution that led to constitutional government in Monarchy, 6.05 tonight on ABC One.